What's up, guys? I am super happy to say that I have graduated. Realistically, this is like, I don't know, 20 years in the making? I've been literally going to school since I was like three years old. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, we're done. I'm done. What even is this? So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. Um, I'm really kind of nervous. I feel like it's been so long since we've talked. <laughs> As you can see, I am in a new area. I've done up my ch my chair for us today. Yeah, I don't I don't know about a studio in this tiny little apartment, but we're working with what we got, right? So let's just sit back, relax, cup of water. So I thought it would be really interesting to talk to you guys today about my whole experience going through college and university and life via Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey. Today we are going to be using a version by, I think it's called like theatricals.com or something? I don't know. I'll put it here. Uh, but it was a really cool spiral with a couple of different terms and phrases that are really beautifully explained on their webpage, so I will also link that down below. To begin, we have our hero, which today is me, begin in stasis, non-movement. For me, this was realistically just going through life, working, non-stop. When I was younger, around like 12 to 13, I loved uh, content creating and making YouTube videos and it was super awesome and fun. Hey guys, today was a real interesting day. I made a beautiful picture on an illustrator. Here I will show you. Okay, this is my beautiful picture. See? It's a girl that was at a masquerade party that she wasn't invited to and murdered everybody. Come puberty, I was super into Tumblr, um, but the second I was able to get a job, I got all the jobs. Um, I was also going to hospitality, aka culinary school at the time, and so I got a, a job in cooking as well as as a barista and so I was just like working 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 non-stop getting that bank money saving up non-stop and it was a whole great time until the next step in our whole hero's journey which is the call to adventure I would love to say that I did not intentionally uh, do a gap year between high school and college, but I did. I actually did my senior year of high school completely online through something called K-12, because I was just basically over and done with high school. All my friends had graduated, and I was just like, uh, school is getting in my way of working and making money. Um, and so that's what I did. And my dad was like, you should go to college. And I was like, I don't know, I guess, but wouldn't I get loads of loans and be in serious debt? Isn't that completely opposite to what I want? And of course he goes through the same old, same old of, if you get a degree, you'll get a better job, make better money. And so what does he do? But he signs me up for college. It was the community college in our district, you know. That was fantastic, right downtown in the heart of... I don't, I'm not gonna dox myself. Yeah, it was cool. It was just happening to be a almost complete year after I graduated high school, which is fine. 
I could have gone into the winter semester. You know, that's just the next step in the hero's journey. It's the refusal of the call. We don't want to go to college. We don't want to pay our loans. We don't want to sign up for years and years of more time out of your life is what my father calls sacrifice. Years of sacrifice. Wording it as years of sacrifice is not very convincing from an 18 year old's point of view. But then we get to our next step of the hero's adventure and this is meeting the mentor. Sorry, my hair. There's so much of it. I gotta cut it all off. Around the time where my dad had signed me up for college, he was actually graduating with his master's degree. And so in the whole hero's journey, he truly was my meeting the mentor. Um, because he was showing me. He worked all years long, very hard, and actually got a job in his field doing what he wanted and making better money than he had. Making happier money. You know what I mean? And so this is where we cross the threshold. We go to college. We go from the ordinary world to the extraordinary world. And let me just say, high school and college are different. Like, you pick your classes realistically completely. They're up to you. You could take seven gym classes if you honestly paid for it. No one's gonna actually yell at you. So it just, it just worked out. The next step to the hero's journey is tests, allies, and enemies. And what I've got written down here is tests quite literally. There is a lot of tests. Test taking. I'm not even sure what to add on to that. Exams, quizzes, synonyms for tests. But then there's also like personal tests, right? So I have a lot or had a lot of friends in community college who would just chill out, skip classes, skip out on their homework, and they seemed so happy. And I was like, this is the easiest test in the world because I'm not going to join them in their happiness. What's the point of sacrificing years if you're not actually? You know what I mean? For college, you're literally skipping out on what you paid for. Like, you paid for that. What, what, are, you, what are you doing there, man? On to the next one. We got our allies. And thank goodness for those. Obviously, I would include all of those friends as my allies, but more importantly, I think the people you meet in your class who, like, share the same interests as you, is, even if that sounds cheesy, it's, it's true. I had one friend who is literally, like, a godsend, and she was, like, not even a decided major, and it was so unbelievably beautiful. I loved it little side note story i was waiting for my bus and i hadn't seen her in forever all of a sudden a car stops at the red light next to my bus stop and she is hopping out of the passenger seat and just like hugging me before i even had a chance to barely see what was happening and oh my gosh if you're listening I love you so much and you mean the world to me. There are, of course, many, many other friends, but I feel like if you find that one, that one perfect angel, you know what I mean? All you really need is a good influence in your life. And that's what she was. And especially to when it comes to the next part of this, which is enemies. For me, this was procrastination and sleep, which really go hand in hand. I would procrastinate to sleep more, which ironically I procrastinate to go to bed too. So either way, I think time management should also be on that list. Even going through the entire hero's journey, I don't think either of those are actually fixed for me. So I can't speak to that. 
uh, being cured whatsoever. Our next step in the hero's journey is the ordeal in the abyss facing the shadow self. For me, oh my gosh. If it's weird to hear, it was definitely weird for me to come to as a revelation, but my into the abyss or like catabasis or whatever you want to call it was quitting a job where I got $15 an hour, plenty hours, like 20 a week. It's like, you know, like a lot of money and a lot to save. Um, but I quit that for a, a two hour a week job at minimum wage, just working for the school as like an ambassador in student retention. And I was just like, that seems really awesome. And a whole nother backstory here too. All I really wanted was to be a, an ambassador. This was before ambassadors were like owned by brands and social media influencers. It was more to do with Star Trek <laughs> and ambassadors being the coolest people in the world. So I went from working and working and working and I'm not even thinking about like my second jobs where I was working on Upwork, uh, anything sort of, not anything goes, that sounds naughty, <laughs> but I mean like writing, reading, peer editing, whatever, as well as the barista job, which I had as a second job, like for years, anywho. I just, I just didn't work at all. I worked on Upwork and the student retention two hours a week, but I still made fractions of what I had. And I was spending it on like pretty clothes and lots of books. And I actually put some towards my student loans, which was a great idea. But then I was like, I, I need to find my calling, and I don't think the kitchen business is it. You know what I mean? So that brings us to our apothesis. Catabasis? Apothesis? My apothesis was a moment I had with my boss in student retention where one day I just walked up to him and I said, what do I do here, exactly? Uh, and he's just like, public relations? And it blew my mind, because when you are going to school for philosophy, and I didn't even mention that I started going for accounting for a whole semester. Yeah, this was my third semester or fourth, and I'd just been going for philosophy, trying and trying to find something else to go with it, because you have to think of, like, real-world work, because, you know, money, money, money. So, I'm being completely transparent here. To get the real-world money, I picked ad PR, advertising and public relations, and it was just so mind-blowing, honestly, because when you think about it, well, not you, necessarily, but me, but when I thought about it, I was like, advertising, something I strangely love for no good reason, or public relations, which is secretly just unpaid advertisements, which I also secretly love, in that when I was a kid, I would watch cable television and just stare and stare at the advertisements like they were hilarious. And then there's PR, which is really complicated to say that you love because it's like any sort of communications from an organization to any sort of certain public, which is anyone. You know, when you're, when you're really into corporate social responsibility, like, business as being ethical, you're into public relations. And that's just what I found. 
Not to mention that I did also find that business ethics is its own degree, but that was years and years later and I was like, I'm too far gone. How did I not know? What? 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 But I was like, no, because people think philosophy and ad PR together is like really cool and mysterious and unique. And I'm just over here like, but it's written in all the textbooks though. They talk about ethics in all the textbooks. In a bunch of my philosophy books, they talk about advertising and public, like it just wasn't a mystery to me. And so many people were kind of confused. So it was just, it was just my, my own apathesis. TBH, I hadn't heard that word before today. The next one on this hero's journey is called The Ultimate Boon. I'd never heard that before either, and it, it sounds weird, right? But it's basically like the whole story culminating into what you've worked for, and that would be, for me, A, finding a job in ad PR. I was at that point like, oh, oh my god, I could... I could quit college right now and it wouldn't make a difference. But the actual ultimate ultimate would be receiving two bachelors in advertising, public relations, and philosophy. It's a whole mouthful because one of them is two things. The next part of our hero's journey through college and uni, university, is the refusal to return. What is your immediate thought after, you know, thinking, I'm about to graduate with two bachelor's degrees? What, what's your immediate thought? I should get a master's degree or multiple, or I could go to law school, or I could just start working right now on my doctorate with the master's. Girl, 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 girl. No, oh my gosh, I need a break. My brain's bleeding down my spine and not in the good way. <laughs> so we're here. I'm not registered for a graduate program, any, any sort of anywhere. I'm here with you. My fridge just turned on, if you can hear it. I'm here with you and I'm, I want to write a book. I want to go full-time in my job because I really love it and care about it. Um, if you're curious, if it's like research and development, public relations. So yeah, I almost wanted to refuse to return from the ordinary to the extraordinary. Why leave the extraordinary world? Well, here's a, a thought for you. I met one of my fave, 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 top fave professors in philosophy who has a doctorate and he's like less than 30 I'm pretty sure but he also at the same time works for a university and said that he's like never left once not once at all so if I wanted a master's degree I want to do it in like five years I specifically don't want to do it now and I think gap years in between high school and college and university, you know, like undergraduate and graduate, like I think those are good. And the freaking commercials where the kid is banging out knowledge out of his ear when he get out of the pool. Summers are great, but kids can actually lose two and a half months worth of what they learned in school. Like, that's not accurate if you continue your own learning and knowledge like in between those times and i did in my own specific way in between college and high school but i will definitely do it more so and better so now with like books and talking to you guys and sharing it with you guys i have been paying attention and First off, I'm so sorry that I haven't made any videos. Trust you me, I've recorded two of them. I just haven't been able to edit. If I get a break, my wrists don't work anymore. I can't edit videos when my wrists aren't working. Like, I've freaking 
arthritis and then my eyeballs don't want to look at screens so like my not making videos for you guys is for the sake of my health <laughs> and I mean just not hiring an editor is for the sake of my bank so thank you and I apologize um but we're gonna we're gonna get back to it just like comment down below what you want uh, but like I was saying, I've been paying attention and it seems like people really enjoy it when I talk about books or philosophical concepts. I'd love to also bring in ad PR to that. Uh, like what is public relations? Is it ethical? I don't know. We can talk about it. So that's why I'm here on the road, road back home. It's really almost starting today. I think is the first day I haven't had a, a headache or woken up completely drained since I finished my last exam last Thursday. So like a full week it took me to recuperate my brain. But yeah, we're crossing back into the ordinary world. According to this hero's journey, I have mastered two worlds. I am returning with special knowledge, and I will ascend to a higher plane. Um, so more or less, I went from content creating to trying to have real world job skill knowledge, and I'm coming back with both of those hard, and that's pretty much it. Like I'm, I'm gonna have better content than when I was 11, you know? over 10 years ago <laughs> and then it's going to be more fulfilling work than working in a freaking kitchen oh my gosh i don't want to throw anyone under the bus but i know seniors who just graduated who are currently working in a kitchen or as a server who have incessantly told why aren't you working in your field like literally Go do it online. I didn't say this to them, but I started working online in my field like before I even knew what my field was. Like copywriting, I just kind of gathered the context of what that is. It's advertising writing. That's it. Like, ah. people frustrate me when they're not going and living their dreams. But that's just me. I'm I'm coming back. I'm living my dream. Um, and I really hope you are too. I'm not saying at all college is gonna make that happen, but I do really think that I'm gonna be better at content making and I already have a fulfilling job than before. And I honestly wouldn't have been able to figure out what would make me fulfilled via work if it hadn't been for working for my college. I just put my my uh, life in the hands of the universe and it, it did not disappoint. It's a weird boasting vlog, isn't it? I'm, I'm very sorry, I try to be humble. I don't know how to end this humbly. But I will say I'm super duper excited and happy and oh my gosh, I've got a degree, I've got a cool hat. It was only, you know, $40,000. And did I say one degree? I got two or three, four, if you technically count high school. Have I gone to one single college party? No. But anywho, I made us a super cool, like, timeline photo, photo timeline, as well as a dotted chart and graph line um so please enjoy those and thank you so much for listening to my awesome experience seal story i hope you enjoyed it thank you thank you and yeah comment down below if you loved college if it was super boring if you had your own hero's journey i would love to hear all about it for me, it basically went from going from an unfulfilling life to a fulfilling life. I'd hope that more people have that experience. 
you know so thank you thank you again and i hope you have a great rest of your day and i really appreciate you taking the time to spend some of your time with me if you really like the video be sure to subscribe and like and comment and ring the bell and do all that jazz and go eat your dinner and i love you bye Fire that I lit from my phone Breathing in toxic fumes and make me